Feeling overwhelmed by the skyrocketing cost of living? What if paradise was more affordable than you ever imagined? Picture this surfing the pristine waves of Bali at sunrise, then enjoying a delicious local meal for less than $2. There is a place with stunning nature that can meet the cost of living for just $500 a month. Curious? Follow along as we reveal the best Asian countries where you can live comfortably without breaking the bank. Number 1. Indonesia As a country in Southeast Asia, Indonesia is not only home to the world-famous islands of Bali and Java, but it is also famous for the Thousand Hand Dance, a traditional dance recognized by UNESCO as an intangible cultural heritage of humanity. Let's dig into the numbers, because that's what really matters to you. In Indonesia, your daily meals will cost you an average of $1.75. This means you can enjoy delicious and affordable local cuisine. You can rent a house outside the city center for as little as $175 a month, with utility bills averaging between $65 and $110 a month and bus fares as low as $0.22. Cents. Your total monthly expenses are unlikely to exceed $500 life in Indonesia is not just about cheap meals and affordable rent. It's about enjoying a high quality of life on a modest budget. Imagine living in a country with a rich cultural history, friendly locals, and a relaxed pace of life perfect for retirees or anyone looking to escape the hustle and bustle of expensive cities. Indonesia is generally a safe place to live, but like any country you should be wary of petty crime in touristy areas. But the sense of community is real from welcoming markets and local neighborhoods to plenty of opportunities to meet other expats. Visit Bali, Indonesia's most popular destination, offering a mix of stunning beaches, terrace rice paddies, and rich cultural heritage. Popular areas like Kuta Beach, known for its surfing and nightlife, and Ubud, Bali's cultural hub, attract those looking for both relaxation and exploration. Visit Komodo National Park, the only place in the world where you can see the Komodo dragon, or visit Lake Toba, the world's largest volcanic lake, and many other interesting destinations. Healthcare is also affordable, but you should invest in private health insurance to enjoy high-quality services. Most expats find that private hospitals in Bali or Jakarta can meet their needs. Thinking of staying long-term The good news is that Indonesia offers easy visas. For short visits, a tourist visa will get you started, and retirees will find a retirement visa easy to obtain. If you're thinking of working remotely, there are viable options for that too. With flexible visa options, Indonesia makes it easy for retirees and expats to settle in without having to deal with complicated immigration procedures. But Indonesia is just one option. Stay tuned, because next we'll explore more countries where you can live on $500 a month. Don't go anywhere. Number 2. Thailand The rich cultural history, famous Buddhist temples, and beautiful islands of Thailand will be our next destination. Affordability is the most impressive aspect when talking about this country. From street food to local restaurants, you will find plenty of delicious options starting from $1.80. You can also easily find a one- or two-bedroom apartment in the suburbs of Bangkok, for example, Nanthaburi. Bang Na, Samut Prakan, rangs it for between $140 and $330, and you can significantly reduce that cost by living in a smaller city or rural area. Utility bills, transportation, and basic needs are also very affordable. This means you can truly live in Thailand on a budget of less than $500 a month. But it's not just about cheap living, the quality of life in Thailand is also very high. For example, Healthcare is top notch. Thailand has some of the best international hospitals in the region, offering high quality care at affordable prices. If you are a retiree or an expat, you will appreciate the peace of mind that comes with excellent medical services without the sky high costs you might face back home. Safety is another factor. Thailand is one of the safest countries in Southeast Asia. Crime rates are low, and the country is politically stable. You will feel secure while exploring vibrant markets, hiking through the hills, or simply enjoying the relaxed pace of life. Thailand also makes it easy to stay long-term, especially for retirees. If you are over 50 years old, 
you can apply for a retirement visa, which is fairly simple and grants you long-term residency in this tropical paradise. For others, long-term stay visas are available, making it accessible for many expats. A country with a rich cultural heritage, unique traditions and natural wonders, unlike anywhere else in the world, Thailand offers the chance to experience Songkran Festival, the traditional Thai New Year festival, famous for its massive water fights. The entire country turns into a fun battlefield with locals and tourists alike. It is both a religious and fun experience with temple visits, family gatherings and cleansing rituals. Experience shopping while cruising along the water at the Dam Nguyen Sadduak, and Amphawa floating markets traditional markets located along the canals, where vendors sell their wares from their boats. Visit an elephant sanctuary, Experience a tuk-tuk, the most iconic mode of transport in Thailand and countless other fascinating places await you. Number 3. Vietnam Vietnam, famous for its stunning landscapes and rich history, is quickly becoming an attractive destination for those seeking a lifestyle that is both affordable and vibrant. But what if I told you that in this diverse country, you can live comfortably for less than $500 a month? Yes, you heard that right. The question is, how? Stay tuned, because the answer might surprise you. Let's talk about money, since that's why we're here, right? Let's break it down. On average, a meal will cost you about $2.20. And trust me, the food is not only affordable, but also incredibly delicious. Whether it's a hearty bowl of pho or a crispy ban my sandwich, dining out won't break the bank. When it comes to rent, in the city center, you'll pay about $411 a month, but if you live in the suburbs of major cities like Hanoi or Ho Chi Minh City, your cost could drop to around $230. Now, if you manage your money smartly and choose to live outside the big cities, you can still hit that $500 a month mark. But it's not just about the cost. Quality of life is key. Vietnam offers a solid balance between affordability and comfort. For example, healthcare is improving, but for expats, private healthcare is recommended. It's affordable and offers a higher standard compared to public hospitals. This is especially important if you're planning to stay long term. Safety in Vietnam is generally good, although you'll need to be mindful of chaotic traffic, especially in the larger cities. So, is it easy to stay? Vietnam offers a variety of visas, from tourist visas to work visas, and expats who meet certain criteria can stay long-term. The process is relatively smooth, and many expats have made Vietnam their permanent home. Imagine sitting in a small, cozy cafe in Hanoi's old quarter, enjoying a cup of egg coffee, the iconic Hanoian drink. Admire the unique architecture of Bia Nhe Hills, home to the famous Golden Bridge supported by two giant stone hands or visit Phong Na Ki Bang National Park, home to some of the world's largest cave systems with underground rivers stretching for kilometers. Before we move on to the next country, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can support me in any way, just hit the notification bell and press the subscribe button, it means the world to me. It really helps the channel. And if you do that for me, I promise that my team and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? Number 4. Sri Lanka Sri Lanka is a small country located south of India, known for its ancient Buddhist temples and serene beaches. This tropical paradise offers a peaceful lifestyle with stunning coastal views. Sri Lanka provides two main living options, the modern capital city of Colombo, or the more laid-back coastal town of Gal. Colombo is perfect for those seeking a vibrant life, with plenty of infrastructure catering to expats think shopping centers, international schools, and modern healthcare facilities. In contrast, Gal offers a peaceful seaside atmosphere, ideal for retirees looking to relax by the beach. This pearl of the Indian Ocean also offers you countless interesting experiences. How about visiting Sigiriya Rock Fortress, an ancient stone fortress built in the 5th century, nearly 200 meters high, and a United Nations educational, scientific and cultural organization World Heritage Site? I am sure you will be attracted by the frescoes, 
beautifully designed gardens, and the famous Lion Gate. Or visit Gala Fort, famous for its cobblestone streets and open coastal views. You can walk to visit the fort, Gala Lighthouse, Dutch Reformed Church, and the Maritime Archaeology Museum. Now, head to Marissa Town and South Beach for whale watching, especially blue whales diving, surfing, and relaxing on pristine beaches. Now let's talk about the numbers. On average, a meal costs only $1.35. This means you can enjoy fresh seafood, flavorful curries, and a variety of local dishes. As for rent and utilities, a, an apartment in the city center of Colombo may cost around $338 per month. But if you opt for a smaller, quieter area like Galley, you can save even more. You can easily find a standard furnished apartment starting at $130. Other utility costs are also extremely affordable, with your total bills averaging around $315. It's easy to see that living in Sri Lanka on $500 a month is not only possible but also comfortable. Sri Lanka has a good healthcare system, and expats often prefer private clinics for reasonable prices. Additionally, Sri Lanka is considered a safe country with a welcoming environment that is friendly to foreigners. The government makes it easy for expats to stay long term. Whether you're looking for a retirement visa or a long-term residency visa, the process is very straightforward. So, does Sri Lanka sound like the tropical retreat you've been dreaming of? With its affordable costs, natural beauty, and relaxed lifestyle, this island nation could be the answer. But the question is, are you ready to make the move? Number 5. India When you think of India, what comes to mind? Is it the towering Himalayas, ancient temples designed based on astrological principles, or the sacred forests dedicated to the gods? But the real question here is what is life really like for an expat in India? How far will $500 go, and will it be enough to enjoy these experiences? By the end of this chapter you'll have a clearer understanding, and the answer might surprise you. Next, imagine yourself walking across the vast golden deserts and majestic palaces of Rajasthan Land of Kings. Visit the famous Udaipur Palace with its beautiful lakes and grand palaces and rising like a golden mirage in the desert. Dominating the skyline or visit the ancient city of Pushkar which houses the only Brahma temple in the world. Now, take your imagination to the Northeast India's hidden gem with stunning landscapes, from rolling hills to majestic waterfalls and exotic wildlife. Kaziranga National Park is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, famous for its population of one-horned rhinos. Shillong Cherrapunji nestled amidst the hills of Meghalaya, Shillong is famous for its British colonial architecture and cool climate. Nearby is Cherrapunji, one of the wettest places on earth, famous for its living root bridges and majestic waterfalls like the Nokalikai Falls. Visit Tawang, home to one of the largest Buddhist monasteries outside of Tibet. The serene landscape and spiritual significance of this place attracts travelers looking for peace and adventure. If you want to go on this adventure, let me know. Now let's talk about where you might live in India. Bangalore is often a popular choice for expats. It is a city known for its modern infrastructure, expat-friendly community, and relatively affordable cost of living. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more relaxed, Puducherry might be the place for you. This town, with its beauty along the southern coast of India, will leave you feeling peaceful and serene. When it comes to monthly expenses, everything stays within budget. Aside from rent, your monthly living costs could amount to around $332. Renting an apartment in the city center will cost about $212 a month, but you'll find plenty of cheaper options in smaller towns starting as low as $50. A traditional Indian meal costs around $2.65. This means you can enjoy flavorful dishes like biryani, curries, and other local specialties. Overall, your total monthly expenses won't exceed the amount you might expect. Beyond affordability, India offers a fairly good quality of life. The healthcare system varies by region, but expats often choose private hospitals, which are both affordable and high quality and you'll be happy to know that English-speaking doctors are easy to find. India also makes it easy to stay long-term with various visa options, including retirement and renewable tourist visas. So, 
If you're considering making India your home, the legal aspects are quite straightforward. Number 6. The Philippines. As a country in Southeast Asia, the Philippines is an archipelago of over 7,000 islands, making it a paradise for beach lovers. In addition to its beaches, the Philippines is also famous for UNESCO World Heritage Sites, such as the Han carved rice terraces created by indigenous people over 2,000 years ago, and the Tabataha Reefs Natural Park, a biodiversity haven and one of the best diving spots in the world. Now let's talk about what you can expect to spend on daily living. An average meal costs around $3.50, and you'll have a wide selection of delicious Filipino dishes to choose from. Monthly living expenses, including groceries, utilities, and entertainment, are quite affordable and easy to manage. Choosing to live outside the city center or in smaller towns with cheaper rent can help you maintain a comfortable lifestyle on a $500 budget. In terms of safety, while petty crime can occur, with some basic precautions, most expats find the country welcoming and comfortable. Healthcare in the Philippines is affordable, and the quality of service is relatively good. Many expats opt for private clinics and hospitals to meet their medical needs. Interestingly, the Philippines is attractive to retirees and long-term expats due to its straightforward visa process. The country offers several options, including retirement visas and long-term stay visas, making it easy for you to settle down and live long-term. Affordable prices, quality healthcare, easy visa procedures. Does this impress you? Now let's take a tour of the country's most iconic landscapes and tourist attractions. Imagine windsurfing, kitesurfing and parasailing on Boracay Island, the most popular tourist destination in the Philippines with its white sand beaches, especially the four-kilometer long white beach. Another day you're on a boat across Tall Lake to Tall Volcano Island, one of the world's smallest active volcanoes. The nearby town of Tagaytay Tagaytay has a cooler climate, and is a popular lookout point for sightseers. You can also take guided boat tours into caves, admire the impressive geological structures and biodiversity of the underground river in Puerto Princesa. Don't let your imagination run wild because the Philippines is a country of extraordinary natural beauty. I will help you in the next videos. Subscribe to my channel so you don't miss it. Number 7. Cambodia. Located in Southeast Asia, Cambodia is where the ancient and modern worlds meet. It is not only home to the iconic Angkor Wat, but also to vibrant cities like Phnom Penh, a bustling city with a lively pace and modern amenities. Imagine this you can rent a house in the heart of Phnom Penh for $440, and it gets much cheaper if you choose to live in the suburbs or smaller towns. The cost of living is extremely affordable, and for just $2.80, you can sit down and enjoy a meal of a mock, a fragrant fish curry wrapped in banana leaves, or savor the simplicity of lok lak, a stir-fried beef dish loved by locals. It's easy to manage your budget while living here. But what really makes Cambodia special is the sense of peace you will find. Life moves at a slower pace, and you will feel connected to the country's rich culture. Tonal Sap Lake, the heart of Cambodia's ecosystem, the largest freshwater lake in Southeast Asia, it plays a vital role in the lives of Cambodians, with the lake's seasonal rise and fall caused by the reversal of the Tonal Sap River making it a unique hydrological phenomenon. The floating villages along the lake, such as Kampong Fluke and Chong Nis, are remarkable examples of communities living in harmony with nature. These villages, which include stilt houses and floating structures, offer visitors an intimate glimpse into a way of life deeply connected to water. Tours often include boat trips that take visitors through lush mangrove forests, bustling markets and local fishing, providing an insight into the culture, economy and biodiversity of the area. For those seeking a tropical paradise, the coastal town of Sianukville is the gateway to Cambodia's idyllic islic islands of Koh Rong and Koh Rong Samlom. They're renowned for their crystal clear waters, white sand beaches and laid-back vibe, these islands have become popular with backpackers and luxury travelers alike. For the more adventurous, Cambodia's Cardamom Mountains are one of Southeast Asia's most important and remote wilderness areas. This mountain range in the southwest of the country is home to dense rainforests, rare wildlife and breathtaking scenery. 
Cambodia's landscapes and attractions offer a mosaic of experiences, from sacred temples to wilderness and serene islands. Cambodia is known for its safety, with a low crime rate and political stability. You'll feel comfortable walking through the streets, exploring local markets, or socializing with your neighbors. Additionally, getting a long-term visa in Cambodia is very straightforward, especially for retirees. Whether you're looking for a simple tourist visa or a longer-term visa, the process is relatively easy and affordable. This allows you to settle into life in Cambodia without stress. One thing to keep in mind is healthcare. While Cambodia's healthcare system is improving, many expats choose to travel to Thailand or Vietnam for more serious medical treatments. Number 8. Malaysia Located in Southeast Asia, Malaysia is famous not only for the Petronas Twin Towers but also for having the first UNESCO-recognized geopark in Southeast Asia. Malaysia offers a rich blend of architecture and cuisine, the Petronas Twin Towers are a symbol of Malaysia's modernization and the tallest twin towers in the world. Standing 452 meters tall, the sky bridge connects the two towers on the 41st and 42nd floors, offering spectacular views of the city skyline. Mount Kinabalu is located in Sabah on the island of Borneo and, at 4,095 meters, is the highest peak in Southeast Asia. The mountain is a major attraction for nature lovers, adventurers, and climbers. Kinabalu's unique biodiversity, with hundreds of species of plants including rare orchids and the world's largest flower, the Raffalzia adds to its appeal. The Langkawi Archipelago is renowned for its crystal clear waters, white sand beaches, and lush rainforests. Langkawi's natural beauty, coupled with its duty-free status, makes it a paradise. Popular attractions include the Langkawi Sky Bridge a curved pedestrian bridge that offers panoramic views of the island's landscape, and mangrove tours that showcase the area's unique ecosystem. Cameron Highlands, known for its cool climate, is a popular hill station in Malaysia. Located in the central highlands, it is famous for its tea plantations, strawberry farms, and picturesque rolling hills. Malaysia offers a variety of unique landscapes and attractions that will leave you with unforgettable experiences, if you're drawn to the fast-paced city life, Kuala Lumpur offers the best a modern city with all the amenities and a thriving expat community. On the other hand, if you're looking for something more relaxing, Penang offers a charming mix of history, culture, and affordability. Choosing to live in smaller towns or the suburbs of major cities, where rent is cheaper and the cost of living is affordable, allows you to enjoy fresh local food on a budget of just a few dollars. Another benefit is that private healthcare in this country is not only affordable but also world class. Many expats are pleasantly surprised by the high quality healthcare services, all at a fraction of the cost compared to Western countries. A big plus is Malaysia's visa options. Whether you're planning to retire or just stay long term, the country offers various visa types to make it easier for you. For example, the Malaysia My Second Home MM2H program is very popular among retirees and expats seeking long-term residency. Malaysia is also known for its political stability and low crime rate. Whether you live in Kuala Lumpur or a quieter area like Penang, you'll feel safe walking the streets, exploring local markets, or spending time in local parks. Before we move on to the next country, I have a special 10-second request for all of you listening. If you can support me in any way, just hit the notification bell and press the subscribe button, it means the world to me. It really helps the channel. And if you do that for me, I promise that my team and I will do everything we can to make this show even better for you. Do we have a deal? Number 9. Bangladesh Bangladesh is located in South Asia, bordering India. This country is famous for having the longest natural sandy beach in the world, stretching approximately 120 kilometers along the Bay of Bengal and the largest mangrove forest in the world which is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. A country filled with natural wonders, rich cultural heritage and historical landmarks, Bangladesh is sure to please. The northeastern region of Silhet is famous for its rolling hills and endless stretches of lush green tea fields, a picturesque site. Silhet is also a spiritual hub 
home to shrines of Sufi saints such as Hazrat Shah Jalal and Hazrat Shah Perun. The natural beauty of the region is further enhanced by the nearby Jaflong and Ratargal swamp forests, where emerald rivers and waterfalls cascade down from the hills of India's Meghalaya, creating a tranquil, supernatural landscape. In the southeastern hills, the town of Rangamati sits like a jewel amidst the lush green hills of the Chittagong Hill tracks, surrounded by picturesque waterways, including Kaptai Lake, the largest man-made lake in the country. The serene surroundings, combined with the rich cultural traditions of Chakma Marma. For history buffs, the Paharpur archaeological site opens a window into Bangladesh's ancient and rich Buddhist heritage. The Samapura Mahavihara, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is one of the largest Buddhist monasteries in the subcontinent, dating back to the 8th century. Its vast ruins, with their intricately designed terracotta stelae, were once a center of learning for monks from all over Asia. Bangladesh is home to countless hidden gems waiting to be discovered. In this country, you can also enjoy popular local dishes like pala for about $1.75 a meal, making it easy to manage your daily expenses. In total, not including rent, your monthly living expenses could be around $382. But what about rent? In downtown Dhaka, an apartment costs about $107 a month. That would bring your total monthly expenses to around $489, just enough to fit into your $500 budget. If you prefer a more laid-back environment, Chittagong, a coastal city, offers a slower pace of life for a similar price. When it comes to quality of life, healthcare in Bangladesh is basic but affordable. For more serious medical care, expats often choose private hospitals, which offer better services at reasonable prices compared to Western standards. Bangladesh is relatively safe, although like any developing country, petty crime can occur, especially in crowded areas. It's important to stay aware of occasional political unrest, but most expats find the country welcoming and easy to navigate. If you're considering moving to Bangladesh, you'll be glad to know that short-term visas are easy to obtain. However, long-term visas may require a bit more effort, but they are certainly possible if you plan to settle for an extended period. Number 10. Laos Laos is a hidden gem in Southeast Asia. It may be landlocked, but don't let that fool you this place is filled with natural beauty. Imagine waking up to views of mountains, rivers, and lush forests. You can really feel the slower pace of life here, making it ideal for expats looking to escape the hustle and bustle of busy living. The cost of rent and living in Laos is quite affordable. If you're comfortable living outside the big cities, rent can be as low as $100 to $200 for a basic apartment. You might even find cheaper options if you look around. A monthly utility costs including electricity, heating, cooling, water, and trash range from $50 to $150. A simple meal at a local market will cost about $1 to $3. So, choosing local options can save you a lot of money. Healthcare in Laos is basic and this is where you might need to adjust your plans. For serious medical treatment, most expats go to Thailand, where healthcare is of a higher standard. However, basic healthcare in Laos is affordable. A doctor's visit might cost around $10 to $20, and pharmacies are easy to find. Laos is generally a safe country for expats. Violent crime is very rare, and the locals are friendly and welcoming. One thing to keep in mind is traffic safety. The roads can be rough, and driving, especially at night, can be dangerous. If you plan to rent a motorbike or car, it's essential to be careful and always wear protective gear. Laos offers a relatively easy visa process, which is another big plus. You can get a 30-day tourist visa on arrival, which can often be extended to 60 days. After that, many expats apply for a business or volunteer visa which can be renewed every 90 days or up to one year, depending on your situation. So, is Laos the perfect place for you to live on $500 a month? If you found today's video interesting, don't hesitate to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Your support is very important to us. Be sure to check out the next video appearing on your screen. You're sure to love the content we bring. 
Please leave a comment about which country you'd like us to explore next. Thank you for watching, and see you in the latest video. Thanks for being with us on this great journey. Leave your thoughts in the comments and like to help us. Remember to subscribe for more. See you soon.